Hello YouTube, hello world. Uh, I thought I'd do another little one on this uh, Gabby Petito Brian Laundry thing, seeing as it seems that I think differently um, to any of the channels that I've looked at that have commented on this um, this incident here um, and a subsequent murder. Um, well, first of all. Um, I've been a criminal and a crook, so I have some idea how criminals and crooks think. Uh, not just from my own behaviour, but also from all the criminals and crooks that I met, I met uh, while I was spending years going in and out of uh, British prisons. I've also escaped from the inside of two British prisons. Um, they're not prisons where people are escaping on a regular basis. And so, consequently, I've also been on the run. So I understand a little bit what that's like. Um, and also, I am a diagnosed psychopath. Now, I don't believe the diagnosis. I suspect you might. Um, because you believe in experts. You believe in their opinion. Because they have experience and they've studied things. Well, I have experience and I've also studied things. Um, well, anyway. I guess if um, Brian Laundrie did murder Gabby Petito, then that would make him a bit of a psychopath. So if I am a psychopath, I understand how they think. Anyway, let's have a little look. Grant County Sheriff's Office. Were you able to get a description of the intoxication? Hi, can you hear me, sir? Yeah, I can hear you. Hi, uh, I'm calling. I'm right on the corner of Main Street by Moonflower. And we're driving by, and I'd like to report a domestic dispute in Florida with a white van, Florida license plate. White land, gentlemen, Where's about five, six beard. They just drove off. They're going down Main Street. They made a uh, a right onto Main Street from Moonflower. Or what were they the doing? Cooperative, but um, what do you say? What were they doing? Uh, we drove by and the gentleman was slapping the girl. He was slapping her. Yes, and then we stopped. They ran up and down the sidewalk. He proceeded to hit her. Hopped in the car, and they drove off. Okay, you said it's a white van. White van. I give you the. I give you the license plate. Just give me one sec. I took okay. a picture of it. What kind of white van? Like a big one. Um, it, it was a smaller van with the license plate of. It was white. Florida license plate QFP G03. It was the make was a Ford. Model was Transit. Black ladder on the passenger side. The Black ladder, uh, passenger Congress. side. White Ford Transit. White Ford Transit. Okay, what's your name? And where did they, so they turned, they headed south on Main Street from Moonflower Market? Correct, they made the right turn. Oh, so they went north. North. Yeah, sorry, I'm not from around here. Okay, are you so you're right there by the post office? Right across the street, yep. Okay, and, and when they turned on the main street they went right or left? Right. Right, so they went north. North on Main. All right, I will let somebody know, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Bye. Thanks. Okay, so police received a call from an independent witness who saw an altercation between a man and a woman in the street um, and stated that the man was uh, slapping the woman around and then they both got into a van and drove off. Now the police had turned up, pulled over the van, separated the couple to question them. And it turns out that the man, Brian Laundrie, is the one with the injuries. Uh, he's got cuts to his head, he's got a cut and a bruise underneath his eye, he's got her nail marks embedded in his arm. He's the one who looks like he's been assaulted. 
um, they don't notice any marks on her. I don't notice any marks on her. Um, but she's asked if uh, he hit her and she says no. He, he grabbed her face. Um, but she admits hitting him. So I guess the police are a little bit puzzled by this uh, and do a bit more investigation as they should. Um, we're going to see what happens with that. So CPA, do you have a phone number for the RP? Maybe you're still landline and a location where our victim's at? Uh, phone number is name. I'm not sure that, but the female who got hit, they both the male and the female, both got into the van and headed north. Continuing attempt to locate, time lapse of about probably 40 seconds, RP states seen a male hit a female domestic. He got into a white Ford Transit van, has a black ladder on the back, Florida plate of the van turned right onto Main Street from Moonflower Market and headed north onto Main Street, 1638. So the police have uh, responded to the uh, initial report from uh, an independent witness who, who saw the altercation between a, a man and a woman outside the Moonflower Cooperative restaurant. And what they're expecting is to find a woman who's been beaten. Uh, but what they find is a man who's been beaten and a woman who's admitting hitting the man and attacking the man. So they've done the right thing. It seems that they've um, gone back to the person who originally reported the incident and spoken to them again. And this officer's come along to tell his colleague what they've said. People make very bad witnesses in um, <laughs> when they uh, witness a crime. If you've got 50 people that witness a crime and you take evidence from those 50 people, you're going to get 50 different versions of what happened. You're going to get 50 different descriptions of the, uh, the criminal. Um, anyway, when they speak to the... Um, the person who reported it originally they're now doubting what they saw um, they've said that they saw the man push the woman um, and from certain angles I guess that could look like somebody hitting a woman um, but they're not so sure so um, anyway what they conclude here is that Gabby Petito is the abuser and Brian Laundrie is the victim trying to lock her out of the vehicle. She even told us that he was trying to lock her out, told her to go take a walk, mm -hmm. so that she was trying to get in. She eventually couldn't get in and actually clawed her way in through the driver's door. He says, I don't understand why she's doing that. Well, I think it's because it was the only door that wasn't locked that she could get through. Mm -hmm. She's trying to get in over him. He's trying to disengage from her. I guess he hung her backpack on the back, probably so she'd have her shit, so that he didn't have to engage with her. Everything she's saying is, same thing, I haven't heard what he said, but if that's what he said, it's also what the witness is saying. The witness says, I never saw him hit her, I saw him shove her, but I couldn't tell if it was an aggression against her or a defense against her, as far as her, you know, being the aggressor. So at this point, from what, unless the guy's screaming that he needs to go to jail and did something to this girl, it sounds to me like she is the primary aggressor. Yeah. Now, the problem with her being the primary aggressor is in an instance of domestic assault, be it a male or be it a female, we shall rest now. I quite like this officer. 
Uh, don't get me wrong on that at all. I quite like him. I think he's done a good job here. Uh, they've turned up and things aren't quite how, they, um, how they've been initially reported. That woman's been slapped around. They've turned up and it actually looks like the woman's been slapping the man around and the woman admits that she's been hitting the man. So this officer now says the problem is, in case it's a domestic assault, being it a man or a woman, we shall arrest. The reason there's a problem is because they don't like arresting women for domestic assault. That's the problem. Uh, in my experience, police officers aren't impartial at all. They don't treat people like equals at all. Um, that's from my own personal experience. There's no bitterness there. It's just an observation of fact. Now, I've got a tendency to turn things around, to flip them. And in this instance, there would be no problem if they'd uh, turned up and the, uh, the woman, Gabby Petito, was the one that was marked up, consistent with being slapped around. They would have arrested Brian Laundrie on the spot without a problem at all. But I don't want to arrest a, a tiny little young lady so she has domestic violence on her record for the rest of her life. Um, I'm making no judgments about it. It's just how it is. They really need to start treating things equally and as the same. Um, because the consequences of them not arresting Gabby Petito on this day may have led to her death. It's quite possible she may have attacked Brian Laundrie again. And he retaliated. However, <laughs> I'm not like the rest of YouTube or the internet. Everybody has already convicted Brian Laundrie of the murder of Gabby Petito. When you read the comments in all the videos and you look at the videos themselves, Brian Laundrie must be guilty. He's already convicted. I very much doubt he could get a fair trial. Everyone seems to have convicted Brian Laundrie. I haven't. I don't know. It's all right not to know. Of course, um, the police also, I don't believe, have any evidence against Brian Laundrie. They don't have a scrap of evidence to implicate Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito's homicide. Because if they did, the warrant out for his arrest would be an arrest warrant for murder. So, it seems like the police don't have any evidence against Brian Laundrie. <laughs> but everybody on the internet does. They've convicted him. He, he must be guilty. I'm not sure why people have jumped to this conclusion. I don't know, maybe it makes for a perpetuating drama where they can make uh, content on it. Who knows? I don't, I've no idea. Everybody wants him to be guilty. Um, but there were two other young ladies murdered. <laughs> Just outside Moab. Moab. Kylan Short and Crystal Turner. Uh, Kylan Short, I've heard, worked at the, the Moonflower Cooperative Restaurant as a cashier. And I've also heard that she was working the day that Brian Laundrie and Gabby Petito went there. And I've also heard that Brian Laundrie had a argument with the staff in there. Uh, and then a couple of days later, Kyle and Short and Crystal Turner went on a little camping trip. And when Kyle and Short didn't turn up for her next shift at the restaurant, a friend went out to look for them. 
and found their partially clothed bodies, dead. The police say this isn't connected. It's very coincidental though, isn't it?